All right, guys, so I'm going to solder these up, the female adapters, uh, first. You definitely don't want to cook those integral traps or the, or the dip tube on the cold side. Uh, kind of fucks everything up from the start. So, yeah, I pasted up good, cleaned my fittings real good. Make sure you're getting down in the bottom of the fitting. Because that's where the seal is. It's not around the outside edge. It's in where the, at the bottom of the fitting. So anyways, I, I'm all pasted up here. And I'll show you how I do it. Alright guys, so what I use is a B tank. Uh, you know, I have those little pop torches and some map gas if I need it on a small job, but I usually, if I'm soldering, I'm using a B-tank and acetylene. Uh, I've got a nice big tip. It runs, it's hot, turbo torch. And what I do is when I come to solder a joint, I, for one thing, I always start at the bottom and work my way up. Heat rises as you're soldering one joint, you're actually warming up the the next joint uh, and it just makes the process quicker but the way I solder is I heat up the pipe first and then I move the the torch over uh, on the bottom and and draw the solder in once it's hot enough and uh, you know it's worked for me it's a nice clean joint and I'll show you how I do that it my friends and if you look in here in the end of this pipe you probably can't see it but you know that's where the seal takes place you can see the solder in there and uh, yeah so that's it it's pretty simple get the goddamn pipe hot that's it to the right temperature not more not less and just hit it Alright, so you can see this is the bottom of the joint. Some guys don't like them. You know, I know the, the joint's full. But yeah, that's where I put the solder in. It sucked all the way around. Capillary action. Same thing here. Nice clean joint. I'm going to let it cool off and uh, stick it on there. Alright, guys, I'm going to blister this up. And uh, I'm making pretty good time on this. I got here at nine thirty and uh getting close. I just need to solder all this shit up and I'll be good. I always, I always come in from the back side on these 90s uh, just in case you get some grip there in the back. I don't have to worry about it.
she wrote. That's all she wrote. Ooh, I forgot what it feels like to get burned by this fucking shit. Anybody out there want to bet? I got 10 bucks. It says I won't have a leak. You want to bet? Just drop a comment. I'll be sure I make sure I film everything in. Anyways, that's it, my friends. I'm gonna go ahead and get this vent hooked up. It's important that you get this guy in and bolt it down. These drop in these little slots. It's supposed to, anyways. And then I drive a couple of screws. Good one. A little too tight on that one, guys. Give me a little fucking spin rooski. Fucking goddamn screwdriver tips, man, that aren't magnetized, man, are a pain in the fucking ass. And I can't see. Ow! There we go. That fucking copper's hot, guys. Alright, so. I've got a screw in here. It's not doing anything but getting my fucking head in.
this back side. Do the relief valve and the uh, oh shit! I back that back out. All right, guys. So I got this water on, and I'm gonna open up the valve. And what I do is I leave everything closed, the relief valve. Uh, I don't open any hot valves in the house just yet. I pressurize the tank with air. If my solder joints are leaking, I'm going to hear air pissing out of them. And uh, I can easily turn the water off, let the air bleed down, re-solder the joint, and uh, head on down the road. So hopefully there'll be no leaks. I did put 10 bucks up for anybody who's willing to. We'll see. Let's see what we got. I mean, nobody's perfect. So we'll let that fill for a minute. Let's see if we can hear any, any air pissing. This thing's supposed to have an air gap. But I tuck it in the pan just a little bit just to make sure it's going to stay in there. That's the code. That's the code, so we get as close as we can to it. <laughs> yeah. Now i got to do this pan drain. I just need to run it over. One inch. I can push it down. Killing me. I've got what's called GDHD in my eyes. Grass versus host disease from my bone marrow transplant. And uh, that's why I'm always squinting because my eyes are fucking hurt. I feel like somebody threw fucking lemon juice and sand in my eyes. So, it is what it is, my friends. Come on, chugging. This, I just need to offset this drain, pan drain, direct it to the floor. Doesn't sound like I've got any leaks on this copper. But yeah, I just need to, this pan drain just needs to be brought down to the, below the living level of the house. So I put it like this with a 90 and keep it about two inches off the floor and they'll be able to see it. I'm going to say I don't have any roof. What I like to do when I'm done, I take my sticker and I don't get the, it doesn't work most of the time, but I always like going, BAM! It's not a sticker, it's a magnet. BAM! Done. BAM! Look at that, one. perfectly fucking straight. Ha! How you like that? Oh, yeah, man, we're done. It's 11 o'clock. I got here at 9.30, it's an hour and a half. I just gotta throw my shit on the truck. I should be out of here shortly. 
been a fun video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoy them. Nobody else does. That's all that counts.